Hello there boys and girls, welcome back to the AC Milan save on FIFA 18 and if you missed the previous episodes we'll have a little bit of a roundup and then we'll get into the two games today as well. So what has been going on? So if you have a look at the calendar, our last game was against Roma, we beat them 1-0 um, but we were down to 10 men, Masasho did get sent off so he won't be here against, the, uh, against Inter for the Milan derby today. And then before that, we drew one all with Sampdoria. Very disappointing game. We got we conceded a goal in the last couple of minutes, and uh, it was a one all draw for uh, for us against Sampdoria. Uh, so four points from the last two games, not too bad. Uh, but we play Milan today away or home. We're at the San Siro doesn't really matter. And then we play Genoa at the San Siro as well. They'll be the two games today. But we will be without. Our starting centre backs, Gomez, Gomez, and Simic will play in the middle of the, the defence, just because Mustachio is out uh, suspended, and Romagnoli actually got injured. He's out for five weeks on uh, international duty, so we'll be without him as well. So the youngsters are really going to be blooded today in this Milan derby. The rest of the team stays exactly the same, and we're going to get this game straight away underway against Inter. They lie third in the league, three points behind ourselves and Juventus, as you can see on screen here. Um, us and Juventus only split by two goals on the goal difference. So we're hoping for hoping for probably another four points. I'm not expect as I said to you uh, in the last episode, not expecting to win the league in this first series. We need to blood a lot of youngsters. Uh, we're going to be in our away kit. They're in their blue, blue and black. Let's go. Let's play Inter. Let's see how Inter line up. Uh, Handanovic is in goal, obviously. Cancelo, Lopez, Miranda and Dalbert at the back. Uh, but they're going to go for a 4-2-3-1. Um, Gagliardini and Vecino at the back. Perisic and Rafinha on the wings. Valero and Icardi up top. Handanovic, probably one of the best goalkeepers in the game. So could be a very defensive game. We're going to go for the 4-3-3. You've already seen our lineup. Let's get underway. Come on, Milan. Icardi is in on goal. He's testing these uh, youngsters through. Valero's through, and that is 1-0 to Inter. Icardi was through. Valero ran off him, and it was 1-0. The youngsters at the back not doing a good enough job at the minute. Their baptism of fire has started. 1-0 to Inter. It's a really good goal by Inter, and uh, Icardi stretched just a little bit here. Backed off and backed off. Good run from Vale Vallejo, or Valero, sorry. Uh, Kessie didn't track the run, and it's 1-0 to Inter. Perisic. He's trying to get the ball in and a good header by Rodriguez. And now Suso can uh, can go, but he fails to get the ball up to Andre Silva. And Casello, lovely crossfield ball to Perisic. Lovely ball to Icardi and we've been ripped apart yet again. Inter 2, Milan nil. 12 minutes gone. They've doubled the lead Six after six minutes of going ahead. And it's 2-0 to Inter. This young Milan side are crumbling in the San Siro against Inter. And it's a, it's a great finish by Icardi. And it's 2-0 to Inter now. What a finish this is. On the volley. Passed on a rumour. 2-0 to Inter. Oh, that is a lovely move by Inter. Perisic is over the top. He's going for the back post. But can't find anybody. And we get that clear. And now we can break ourselves. Rodriguez is just going to drive forward down this left-hand side. He's trying to get the right back to, uh, to commit. But he didn't. And now we're going to have to go inside. And Bonaventura, a lovely ball from Andre Silva. He's in on goal. Can he get a shot across? He can, and he hits the bar. And it's a goal kick. Great shot by Bonaventura. Good move with Andre Silva playing him down the line. And uh, he just went for power there, and it hit the bar a little bit lower. And we would have been back in this game. Five minutes to go. Until half time, we need a goal. But they've got a lot of players back, a lot of defenders and they've gone for a swipe there. Ref, come on, where's the where's the advantage there? He's absolutely swiped at me. That is it, half-time, 2-0, two quick-fire goals for Inter Milan. We will slow out the gates, and it proves that you can't do that, especially in a derby. Um, let's have a look at the match stats. So they've had two shots, two two shots, two on target, two goals. We've had three shots, none on target. So we're a little bit wayward with our accuracy, and we're just going to go to the near post. Bonaventura is going to whip that in. Andre Silva gets there. Andre Silva, so close getting there he's a little bit wide of the mark he got up and uh, just not accurate enough unfortunately for Andre Silva but it's a good intent really good intent from Milan we just need to we need to play a little bit better than what we're doing at the minute but again look at the amount of black and blue shirts we're going to give and we're going to go 
Lovely football. And we go again. Andre Silva. Can he get the ball in? He can. Bonaventura's there. And that is a great save by Handanovic. Can we get the ball back to Locatelli? We're going to come out to uh, Calabria. He can't shoot because he's not got the power, really, of his uh, of his shooting. We're going to go to uh, Chananoglu. He can shoot. He gets it into Andre Silva. He's in on goal. Andre Silva. Oh, that's just wide. Bit for two. Just how the ball got to him. But um, lovely shot, and it just wide from him there. We're going to bring uh, Chananoglu off, and we're going to bring Bayern Yang on. Last 25 minutes. I'm going to keep Andre Silva on there. I feel that he's a, a better player. We're just going to just dink that into uh, that little space there. And we're trying to get Andre Silva onto it again, but we can't. Comes back out to uh, Rodriguez. And we're trying to flick that on yet again, but again, into really good marshalling of the defence. Now they're going to hit us on the break, and uh, Icardi's through. We're, we've got a bit of attacking. Can we get a... a oh, Icardi really should have finished that. He should have taken it a little bit further. He didn't, and uh, he really... Should have made that a uh, three-nil. He was in. He was away from from the defender. I think he slightly tripped him, and unfortunately, we've just come up short here against our rivals, which won't, which the fans won't like, unfortunately. And I've usually got a good record in derbies, a uh, good record in my Arsenal save, good record in my Bilbao save, but yeah, first derby against Inter in this Milan save, and we come up short, unfortunately. And it's uh, say we weren't at our strongest. We have two of our our two starting centre backs both out. Probably would have been um, done a little bit better with those two in Romagnoli and uh, Mustachio. But it's football. We have to uh, we have to go with what we've uh, what we dealt. Unfortunately, and uh, the two guys that have come in haven't done the best. They've not really made that many mistakes. To be fair, it's just been we were caught cold in the opening 15 minutes. Unfortunately, and uh, Milan have picked us apart, and that's a great through ball to Rafinha. Loads of uh, Milan players coming in, or Inter players, should I say, coming in. And uh, there's one over. Bernard has just put me on my backside there into the back post. But Kessie with a great clearance. And the ref should blow up any time soon. And there we go. The referee has blown his full-time whistle. Inter 2, Milan nil. Two goals in 15 minutes. Really kind of sewed it up for, uh, for Inter. And uh, Icardi and Vallejo both scoring the goals. We had more shots on target. Uh, more possession, but just couldn't put the, uh, the the chances away, unfortunately. And uh, it's a defeat in the Milan derby, which is not how I wanted to uh, to start this episode. But we go again. We've got Genoa coming up. We're going to advance. See if uh, see if anything comes through on the uh, on the email. See if we can get rid of anybody. Going to do a little bit of training. Mustachio's back for next game, which is good. So he'll go back into the side. Juventus won their game in hand. Now in to go above us. That will be through goal difference. As, that'll be, um, is it goal difference or is it head to head? Uh, goal difference, 11 to 9. We're four points ahead of Napoli and Sassuolo in the uh, in the fourth and fifth places. And we've got Genoa coming up next. Ecuador want me. I'm going to reject that. Don't really want to do Ecuador. Uh, Antonelli has been sold. So 3 million will go into our transfer budget and Antonelli will go after the. Uh, in the transfer window in January. We're going to make a few changes here and we're just going to put Simic on the bench and then we're going to put Mustachio back in the starting lineup because he's a better player. And we're going to keep... I mean, you know what? I'm going to put Locatelli off and then put Bertolacci in the starting lineup as well. So this is the Genoa team. They've got Perra in goal. Uh, who else? They've got Giuseppe Rossi up top with Piatti. Um, so it's a 3-5-3 or 3-4-3. Lacks out on the left. Rossi, Piatti up behind Lapadula. Veloso and Coffey in the midfield. So three at the back. Hopefully we can um, we can do the business without three at the top. Come on, Milan. Let's go. Let's get a, a better result than we did against uh, against Inter. Poor start again, but Kessie gets it back. Well played by Kessie. And lovely through ball to Suso. Can he get the ball into the back post? Kessie's there. Kessie headers, and that's a great save by Perran. Um, really good ball by uh, by Suso. Getting to the byline, and uh, Kessie, good header from him. And now Rodriguez is going to get there and tries to drive it or drill it into the near post where uh, Andre Silva is headed, but they get it clear, well clear, to be fair. As I said, our front three should really do the business against their, their, their back three, to be honest. And now we're just going to lay that off to... Uh, to Rodriguez and out to Chananoglu, but it's a poor touch by Chananoglu. Player of his calibre should be getting a better touch there into uh, into Kessie. 
out to Bertolacci. Can he hit it first time? Yes, he can. And that's a great save by Perran. One-handed one hair, save from the Bertolacci shot from about 18 yards out. Better play from Milan this time round. Bertolacci is straight down there. Not enough not enough angle on that to uh, to drift it to the uh, to the to the corner and that's a poor pass yet again from Chananoglu and it's a poor tackle by Gomez um bringing down I think it was Giuseppe Rossi and they're going to take their time 20 minutes gone we've started this slightly better than we did against Inter we're not 2-0 down Genoa taking a court taking a free kick and Donnarumma with a really good save there Bonaventura's going to whip that ball in and Mustachio's there and can't get a clean uh, a clean connection on there Bertolacci now out to uh, Mustachio. Mustachio back to Suso. Into Andre Silva. Can he turn? He can. He turns and he hits the bar. And uh, Berta, Berta actually, Bonaventura can't can't get the uh, can't get the the tap in there. Unfortunately, Rodriguez is going to go back to Kessi from the throw in. Cuts inside and there is Bertolacci there, and he can find Bonaventura. Bonaventura is a good save by Perran and uh, Lag uh, Lagzat. Laxat is going to get that ball clear. And uh, Calabria, really good header there. Back into Bertolacci. Can he find the ball through to Andre Silva? He can. And Andre Silva is just going to go for it. Andre Silva goes for it. And what a hit that is by Andre Silva. 25 yards out. And he hits the top right-hand corner. For five, six, seven minutes to go in the first half. Andre Silva with an absolute worldy of a shot. What a hit that was from the youngster. Bertal actually gets the ball in. He just turns his man and he just absolutely lets fly from around about 25 yards out. Top corner, Perran had absolutely no chance. Always going away from him and it's 1-0 to Milan. What a hit from Andre Silva. Andre Silva, can he find Chanelogo at the back post? He can and he heads it over. How can you miss from two yards out, Chanelogo? What a chance. What a chance that was. But was it a save by Perran? Yes, it was. It hit his arm and then goes over for a corner. What a save by the goalkeeper. He's going to launch that forward to the uh, to the strikers, Giuseppe Rossi. We miss a tackle there on him. And uh, it's three on three now. Piatti now. That's a good tackle by, Chal uh, by Calabria. But he gets the rub of the green. And they go into the back post. And Kofi's there. And Kofi just pushes it wide. I thought Rodriguez had that covered. I thought he was going to head it clear. As you can see in the replay here. thought Rodriguez was going to head that clear. But Kofi just walked onto it. And it's only narrowly wide. Our time whistle gone. Milan won with an absolute banger from Andre Silva. And Genoa nil. Good way to come back to uh, to league form. Channel Oglu now down this left-hand side. And we're going to cut back. But Yuri does a good job. Rodriguez. And uh, that's a great header by Bonaventura. 80, well, about 20 yards, 18 yards out and uh, couldn't get his head round it unfortunately Suso, oh, played behind him that's a, tried to cross it, Gentiletti gets the ball out for a uh, quarter kick we're going to bring Niang on for Chananoglu our usual change in the uh, on the left hand side Suso is going to whip this ball in and Bertolacci's there, Bertolacci hits the bar and it goes over the line Lovely header by Berta, Bertolacci. Lovely header by Bonaventura, sorry. Not Bertolacci, I thought he was Bertolacci. Bonaventura with a lovely header. Crashing in off the bottom of the underside of the bar. And it's 2-0 to Milan. Let's have a look at this highlight. Suso with a delicious corner. Bonaventura absolutely destroys that header. And comes in on the underside of the bar. Man on the line, absolutely no chance. And it did go over. Um, and it's 2-0 to Milan. Now we're going to get the ball out to Rodriguez. Into and by Niang. And Andre Silva is down the line. We're just going to hold that up and just turn. Can anybody run off me? Yes, they can. Kessi, lovely through ball to Bonaventura. Bonaventura shoots and that's just over from the uh, from the, the marauding midfielder. Kessi with, up with the header. Lovely header from Kessi. Through ball. To Bonaventura. Can he get the through ball to Andre Silva? Yes, he can. Takes a shot early. And that's 3-0 to uh, Milan. He took the shot early. I don't think Peran was set. And it's two goals for Andre Silva. And it's a goal for Bonaventura. Lovely through ball by Bonaventura here. Saw the run of Andre Silva. The players were coming towards him. He took the shot early. And Peran, I don't think he, he, he thought I was going to take it that early. That was The physics on that was horrendous. But it's uh, 3-0 to Milan. Since that third goal, the, the possession's just gone from one side to the other. No one can really keep hold of it. Uh, they drill, Coming forward, Laxat is. He's 
scoop that ball over the top. Rossi there, and lovely save by Donnarumma. Rossi's header was always looping in, and a great save by Donnarumma. And that is a full-time whistle. 3-0 to Milan. Good turnaround after that inter, that savage inter game that we had. And uh, yeah, it was not not a pretty sight. 3-0, we had most of the opportunities. Seven shots on target from 15, 56% possession. Uh, pass complete, pass accuracy was good at 81%, and we kept them quiet to be fair. So let's advance through to the next game, which is against Kievo. Uh, as you can see on the screen there, we are now second. Three points by Juventus. Inter uh, actually slipped up in their game and uh, are behind us now. So uh, they're on uh, they're on 17. The Juventus have actually gone now tw uh, six points clear because they've played their game already this weekend. So next time we come back, we will bring you Kievo Verona away from home. And uh, we will also bring you uh, Juventus in the oh, wow massive game, massive game next uh, next episode. So we've got Kiev first away, and then we've got Juventus at home in the San Siro, and we might be able to bring the uh, deficit down, the point deficit back to uh, level on points if we beat Juventus uh, next time out. But that's it for this episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you don't want to miss out on any more content that's going to come forward in the next weeks. I've got a lot of uh, Atletico Bilbao, uh, FM18 stuff, and this FIFA 18 series as well with uh, AC Milan. But until next time when we bring you Juventus, but first off, Kievo Verona, I'll see you soon.